Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for our Tuesday card. We have the Five of Wands reversed. So if I turn this over, we can see this card shows five men with wands and they're participating in some kind of contest, like they're sparring together. So sometimes people see this as a battle, but I think of it more as a tournament, like um, a wrestling tournament or a, or a tennis tournament where people are really going at it really hard to show their skills and to improve their skills. The number five is the number for conflict or challenge. So it's a point at which um, you're, you really get revved up. And that's good because you need the momentum at this point in your work to push you over the edge to complete what you're doing. Now, wands are connected to the element of fire. They're about feeling confident and inspired and impassioned. So the five and the wands together is about energy really running high and, and some really good things can happen. But this came to us reversed. So that suggests to me that we may be discovering that we are not enjoying the flow of energy. We're not benefiting from it because we're getting defensive and angry and argumentative about it. Yesterday we had the three of pentacles and I talked about the need to build your team around a particular goal or a, 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 a mission that you have in mind, like getting other people involved. Well, today you may be discovering that as those other people are involved, they have different ideas than you do and you're feeling kind of protective and defensive about the way you want to do things. So this card shows up to remind us that um, it is good to engage in like heated uh, debates and, and really energetic conversations and really being impassioned and sharing your passion together. What is not helpful is getting defensive or um, feeling um, protective of yourself. You know, it's not the time to get take things personally. Instead, try to commit to the flow of energy. Let things come up. Let different things come up. Because the point here is not to let your ego run the show. The ego is all about control and wanting to make things go your way. Passion is about finding the rhythm of energy and allowing it to flow. So trust that the energy that's flowing is leading in the right direction, even if your ego is not sure where it's going. Trust it because that is where um, the life's blood of creation happens. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.